Okay, I want to do just a quick video about uh, how you get a 3D print file onto your Ender 3 uh, printer. So the main way that we're going to do that is using this little SD card. And uh, let's see if you can focus on that. Uh, it's a little blurry, but you can see how small that is. I mean, it's smaller than it's smaller than my thumbnail. So don't lose this. You're going to need this. Okay. Um, this little SD card, uh, when you want to uh, hook it up to your computer, you use this little white adapter, okay? And it only goes in one way, and it just pushes in kind of lightly like that, and then this is a, a regular USB connector, and you can stick that into your computer and transfer files. I'll, I'll include some of that on this video. Um, but when it's time, uh, when you have the files on here, and you want to print them on your Ender 3, you pop out the SD card, and then it goes right in this little slot down here. Um, there's one uh, uh, mini USB port. Um, you, you, I don't think, are going to need that for anything. Um, and then there's this little micro SD card slot. And I can push it in there and, until it clicks. And I'm going to zoom in and show you this. Okay, so if I take the SD card, I can put it in the slot. And if I push it in until it clicks, it'll stay, okay? And then to get it out, I just push it in again, and it'll click and pop out, and then I can pull it out, okay? So that's how you get it in and out of your machine. Now, if it's out, if it's out, and I go over to the screen, uh, the main screen here, I click. If I scroll down, it says no TF card. Uh, TF card is what it refers to, the memory card. And um, it might do this even if it's in when you have it on the first time, and then you have to do this init TF card. That stands for initialize. Um, but if you have already done that, you won't have to do it again. So if I go to no TF card, it says, yeah, I, it says there's nothing there. So I go back to main, go back to info screen. Now, if I put it in, you'll see, I go back to the screen. It still says, interesting, it still says no TF card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do init TF card, initialize TF card. See what it does. And now it gives me this option, print from TF, okay? And uh, if I go to print from TF, I can go and I can see the models that are here. Now I can also go to folders. If you see, uh, like here's the uh, user manual, and I can go in there, but there's nothing in there that's printable. Um, same if I go to uh, print from TF. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe we'll go to change TF card. It's giving me a little... There, here we go. Okay, so uh, you can see it's a little, a little funky sometimes. But uh, these G-code files, something ending in G-code is going to be the one that you want to use. And some of these the pig, the dog, and the cat. These are G-code files that come with the machine, um, and you're welcome to print them to, to give them a, to give it a try. Um, these 2.5H, 3.5H, and 4H. That's the number of hours that uh, that that print is expected to take. So um, you can know that. Um, so when you want to print, uh, you, uh, when you want to get something out um, off your uh, SD card, that's how you do it. Um, and when you want to take it and bring it to your computer, just pop it out and bring your little, be sure to bring your little adapter and we'll take it to the computer to actually put a file on it. Okay, this is the computer side of the SD card video. You've got your micro SD card, you've got your micro SD card USB adapter, and you've got your Chromebook from Wentworth. Uh, or your own laptop at home. If you're using the Wentworth Chromebook, helpfully, they have on the side here a little micro SD card adapter. So all you've got to do in that case is take your SD card, push it in there, and push it till it clicks. And when it clicks, if we go on here, we can see removable drive detected. Open in Files app, and here are the 
contents of our SD card. So you can copy files onto it uh, as you'd like, and then you can hit eject, this little eject button here, and then again, push into it till it clicks, and it pops right out, okay? If you have a laptop and you don't have one of those little micro SD card adapters, all you do is just put uh, put the adapter, plug the adapter into the side of your computer, into one of your USB ports, and then this one doesn't click, you just slide it in. And we'll see, yep, again, there is the, um, SD, the SD card. This time it shows up as USB drive, um, but it's got all the same files on it. So uh, that is your uh, that is your micro SD card uh, and USB adapter for bringing files over to the 3D printer.